Hello everyone, my name is Mina Masood, and today I'm gonna walk you through how to cook the Mame noodle soup recipe from my book, Evolving Vegan. Uh, you can head over to evolvingvegan.com or Amazon or any of your book retailers uh, to pick up a copy of my book. So, this recipe um, I tried for the very first time it, in Portland at a restaurant called Ichiza Kitchen, uh, started and run by Cyrus Ichiza. When I first tried this dish, uh, my mind was blown. Uh, it's a Taiwanese restaurant, uh, and Cyrus cooks up some of his recipes inspired by what he uh, grew up eating from his mom as well. So Taiwanese flavor, Asian flavors uh, that are really amazing. Uh, this one is inspired by that dish that I tried at Ichiza Kitchen. We have another recipe from the restaurant as well that's from Cyrus himself, and it's the adobe chicken bowl. So you gotta check that one out as well. But this one, I kinda came home and, and developed and made up based on what I tried uh, at Ichiza Kitchen. So, I'm gonna run you through some of uh, the ingredients that we have, some of those ingredients that uh, allow to develop some of those beautiful flavors, and then, I'm gonna show you a classic overhead view of how to make the recipe. We've got a star anise. Star anise, when you smell it, smells like a very, very strong licorice flavor, but when you actually use it in the dishes, in your dishes, um, it, it doesn't come out as uh, pungent as the way it smells, so that's a really good one. We've got liquid aminos or soy sauce. You can use either or, and then this beautiful baby, uh, fermented black bean paste. Um, so this is really what gives a lot of the flavor. Uh, it's a classic Asian ingredient, and um, it's it's a beautiful ingredient. You can find it at your ethnic food store, uh, you know, cultural uh, grocery stores. You can alternatively find it online too. I'm sure Amazon carries it. And then we've got uh, rice wine vinegar. So again, some of that flavor. We've got some from uh, soy chicken here. You can use tofu as well. Um, I, I like them both. Uh, because the recipe calls for chicken, I'm gonna use chicken, but you can use tofu and just interchange them. Then we've got scallions. Um, we've got garlic, uh, cherry tomatoes, ginger, uh, white onion, or you can use yellow onion. I'm using yellow onion because I don't have any white onion, but the recipe calls for white onion. And then you've got uh, bok choy as well, some crispy onions uh, for a garnish. And then these two guys as well, adding some of that more flavor, bay leaf and dried red chili. Now if you have um, fresh red chili, you can use that, and alternatively you can even eat it when you're having your dish. Uh, for this, I don't recommend eating it. You can, but I don't recommend it. So as we boil the soup, um, this is gonna cook and release a lot of that flavor, but I would just disregard, um, or sorry, I would just get rid of the bay leaf and, and the red chili after you're done cooking the dish. Um, you can eat them too, nothing will happen to you, it's food, but uh, I wouldn't. All right, so let's get into this. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to cook it, and then uh, I'll show you how it looks when it's all said and done. But these are basically the main ingredients. We've got coconut sugar as well, uh, but it's just a dash, so you'll see that in the video as well. So let's get cooking the Mame Noodle Soup from uh, my book, Evolving Vegan. Let's get to it.
guys. That is the Mame Noodle Soup Bowl inspired by Chisa Kitchen in Portland, Oregon. Uh, this is one of the more complicated recipes in the book. Uh, so I'm glad you guys chose this. Uh, remember, we took a poll on Instagram, on the Instagram stories, and you guys chose this one for me to demonstrate. So there it is, the Mame uh, Noodle Soup Bowl. Uh, I, I used uh, scallions I'm sorry, I used shallots and I was calling them scallions earlier. You're really supposed to use uh, green onions or what we refer to as scallions. But if you've got shallots lying around, that's good too. Uh, and that's what I used today. Topped it off with a little bit of scallions, green onions. And uh, there you have it. That's the dish. So I'm going to dig in here. I don't know if you can see it there properly, but we've got some nice overhead shots as well. I'm gonna dig in, it's full of flavor. Uh, it's pretty healthy, especially if you use tofu instead of uh, soy chicken. And really the flavor is, uh, is in the broth. That's where it's all at. Get some of that chicken there. It is so flavorful. All those ingredients simmering for an hour in the pot. Beautiful, fresh, fragrant uh, from the star anise and the bay leaves and all the ingredients combining together. It's a beautiful recipe. Try it at home. Challenge yourself. It's not all that complicated. And a lot of these ingredients you'll be able to use over and over and over again. So happy world vegan day. Uh, and cook something vegan today, even if you're not vegan. Try a little bit of plant-based. Uh, get my book off Amazon or any of the retailers, Evolving Vegan, and uh, I'll see you next time on a food demo here in my kitchen. All right.